Welcome back. A day ago, I had the most recent product from Phantom Waltz delivered to me via their latest Kickstarter campaign. This is called the Phantom C Slim Wallet. It's a standalone wallet, but it's also MagSafe, so it can be used with your iPhone 12 or newer. This model makes me smile in ways I haven't been able to smile in the past with their wallets, so let's get into it. Here is the Phantom C. I want you to notice the R. Look at the box difference here. All right, that's just the start. Let's open up the Phantom C. Oh, we get some great instructions. Phantom is always really good at that. N6 design. And we open up the, uh, the uh, R model. And <clears throat> I want you to notice the difference here. Look at the difference here in the size. That is significant in every way. And we'll talk more about that and really the difference of what has made this large and somewhat gangly in my mind versus this new one, which is really quite good. So with that said, let's uh, take a closer look here. So this is their newest model. You'll notice that it uh, is limited in what it provides. There is no mechanical mechanism. There is no lever up here at the top. And that's okay. And we'll talk about how you can do everything you need to do with your fingers and thumb with this. It only comes in carbon fiber right now. And uh, we'll show you some of the cool features of this and how it actually functions in what you would expect to be a very small footprint in a slim type wallet. Nice. Now to the feature review, the Phantom C wallet. First thing we should notice on this is that it has a card slot. The entry point is right here on the side. It also has a fanning slot here on the back. This is where you take your thumb and you push cards out. So you push cards this way, they fan out this way. And this is where you'll also in the front have your ability to grab your card with your opposing thumb and your other hand. Opposing thumb, that's usually in the same hand, but it's two hands, two thumbs. From there, I wanna also point out that we have this open slot down here. This is to facilitate insertion. So as a card goes in, which we'll show and talk about more, it goes in at an angle like all phantoms do, and they then lock into place. And this helps take care of the need of not having a larger you know, height to this to accommodate that. It gives it a little bit of a peak here before it goes in. And it is also MagSafe. It has a MagSafe capable magnet in here that could connect to your iPhone 12 or newer wallet or to Apple certified iPhone cases. And that's a quick review of the features. The new Phantom C Slim Wallet. Now onto the card, there's no cash here. Card <clears throat> insertion test. Now you saw I got five cards in there. That is the maximum. They say three to five cards. And I, I was able to, in a in previous test, get four embossed cards. Let me show you. So we have one, two, three, four. These are embossed cards. Embossed means it has these raised numbers and letters. Okay, those are the way cards used to always be. And you can see that they create a little more depth than you would have with normal cards or say newer cards that are all flat. So that means you can, can't get as many in as you would like. So we have four. And four is all you can get in here. If we tried to get another card in here to make this five like the non-embossed, it's not working. So you still can get embossed cards in here, but one less than the five maximum that they talk about. From a quality perspective, this is designed and made in Canada. And the C model follows all the goodness from the R model. It's an all aluminum chassis, which has been ceramic coated. It's just a fantastic finish and it, it durability is, is really what you're looking at here. It does have RFID protection, I know, but that's because of the material. They didn't put anything else into it to make that happen, right? Now there are no moving parts like the, we have in the R version. So this is all manual. There's really less things to break, really nothing to break. It's priced for $89 and the C model is the smallest Phantom created so far. You saw that. We do the comparison here and I can show you that again right here. See that? Boy, that is just a big difference. You get the cards, you put them in, and once you press them in, it's a little stiff to get in, and you know the ease of use of putting it out with your thumb, it gets there, and it, it takes very little breaking, apparently, to make this happen, and it's getting easier for me. When I first tried this, it was pretty tough. And on the back, you can get your thumb in here, 
and that's where you can fan them out or you just get your finger on this side and they fan out and you can have access to your card there. It's uh, really clever to handle the fanning portion non-mechanical like it used to have with the lever up here for the larger version like we have right here. This to nothing except using your finger or thumb on this back to get all the cards out. And of course, you only need to do that if you want to get these cards, lesser used cards out of the back. Otherwise, you can just use your thumb, you can pull it out like that, or you can use your other hand and just pull it out. It just It's very easy and it becomes uh, functional, really functional. Now, of course, once they're locked in, they're not coming out. And that's another great thing is this is very light. I think it's very drop proof. And the reason why is we have this little bit down here. So you have cards that uh, are not gonna just fall out directly. Uh, they have to come out at an angle to get out. Another thing to bring up is the size of this wallet. You saw to the uh, R version, but let me show you to the Apple wallet right here. Look at this, this is amazing. If you just lay the Apple wallet on top of this, they are the same size. And so the point being is that this wallet is the same size as a card virtually. And definitely the Apple wallet, which is also the default MagSafe wallet that uh, Apple sells. And it's, uh, it just tells you the innovativeness that uh, in design that's come a long way with Phantom and getting such a slim and small wallet. Now, as a standalone wallet, it's very nice, but it suffers from a no cash carry option unless you abandon a couple cards and fold the cash in thirds or fourths. Now, I would hope a future option would provide a cash clip as it appears that the reason we don't have anything here for cash right now is because of the secondary feature we talked about, which is the MagSafe. Right, And so let me show you the MagSafe looks like because I got my phone right here. So we take uh, this off and there will be a very nice six month carry test on this coming up. So you watch. And so we have my phone. And you'd think that it fits like this. No, it doesn't. It fits more like this. And that's where it locks into place. Okay. So it, it stays on as well as a MagSafe can. And it's not that strong. I really wish the magnets were a little bit stronger, but it is a carry. The, the issue obviously is that the magnet isn't that strong. I can just push it and you know, it falls off. And so if you wear skinny jeans or those kinds of things, you know, this will automatically just kind of pop off. No different than we have with the Apple wallet. Okay. Just a little bit thicker is the issue because the Apple wallet can only hold three cards and you can get five into the Phantom C. So it still suffers from the same problems, but it is a, it's a great option. I think this is great standalone or as MagSafe. Now the measurements on this are 3.7 by 2.5 by 0.3. This is all metal, it weighs 61 grams. My perception is the Phantom wallets have always been too big for me personally, eh? when compared to the capacity you get. I mean, if you could stuff a whole lot of things in there on the size of this wallet, then I'd be going, okay, but you really can't. Now, but with the Phantom C, we're seeing the company move in a direction that I was hoping. More streamlined, compact wallets while still keeping their unique design elements. I, this really is a neat design element. I really do like how this comes down like this. This is a great start to what I hope will be a more innovative wallets coming from them in the future. So now onto the final score. For quality of five, this thing is built really well. Price a three, getting pushing uh, that upper boundary, but it's still good. Features a two. Missing the cash carry method was really an oversight here, and I hope they rectify that in the future. Usability of three and perception of four. That gives us a final score of 37 out of 50. Thanks for being with us. We appreciate you always coming and watching our channel. The new reviews of wallets coming up constantly. We'll see you in the next review. Bye.